So yesterday we prepared for our first frost and today we're stepping in to see exactly what survived. This is night one, the aftermath of the untimely October frost. If you haven't seen part one and part two, make sure you check those out and give this video a like because I mean, I love you guys. They look quite healthy and good. Wonderful. And we even got some over here, still quite healthy and good. And there too. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So here we have the zucchini. So let's check it out. Taped it somewhere down here. Ugh. Oh, wow. It, it created a greenhouse effect. Look at this. There's condensation on the leaves. I think it liked it in there, you guys. Oh, it liked it. And the soil is still moist from when I watered it. So I don't think I'm gonna have to water this today, but I'll let it get some sun. So that his little zucchini gets the energy it needs and all of those in there too. And everything else stayed together. So let's go take a look. Welcome to Farm Fresh and Blessed. So let's peek in here. We still have our little melon right there. And there's some melons, you guys know, all down in there. Okay, I ordered another one to cover this entrance here so it doesn't blow around so much. Let's get inside and see. Their cantaloupe. I mean, it was looking like this before I covered it, so it looks like it needs to get sprayed with neem oil, to be honest. Look at that. Let me go mix some of that up. Um, over here, we have all of our tomatoes. It's definitely warmer in here, y'all. Definitely warmer. The tomatoes, they look the same. They look fine. Looks like it might want some water. So we'll get some water. But we did a good thing. We did a good thing. All right. This was, or this is our pepper plant. Let's go ahead and uncover it. I'm gonna need two hands for this, I think, because I tucked it all under there. Ah, very moist, just like the other one. So as you can see, everything's looking healthy and very happy and actually wet for the from the whole greenhouse effect. We got some grass growing in here. <laughs> Let me pull those out. All right, I'm happy with that. So we'll just do this again tonight because it's gonna get till in the 20s. I did want to show you guys what it looks like. See the zucchini I didn't cover? It looks totally fine. So that's interesting. There's no fruit on it though. And the potato, sweet potato over here, looks totally fine too. So good to know, good to know. <laughs> so here I am preparing the neem oil spray for the cantaloupe and the zucchini that seem to have powdery mildew. So I'm mixing this up with some soap and neem oil and then some water real quick. But I do run into a little something. Well, I forgot about this, you guys. As you can see, the neem oil has solidified. So, I'm not going to be able to do this. Dang it. 
But there's the neem oil I use. You have to do a half a teaspoon of dish soap and then one and a half teaspoons of pure neem oil. I put it, it in here with 32 ounces of water. It has the measurement on the side somewhere. And then just spray it on. So unless I can get some pieces out, I'm not gonna be able to do this. As you can see here, I did manage to squeeze a chunk out of there and throw it in and cross my fingers. <laughs> In case you've never used neem oil before, I'm just making sure I cover the front and the backs of all the leaves that are showing the powdery mildew. I'm gonna pump it. That's all for today. Tonight it's supposed to be the coldest night of the week, so make sure you guys check out tomorrow to see what happens. Bye.